Hey guys, today we're working on a router plane. Alright, let's get started on this. Okay, I'm gonna utilize this old chisel from my cutter. I'm just gonna bend that right there. Utilizing my torch, of course. Propane torch. Um, then I'm gonna put it in the vise and bend it. Then I'm gonna temper it again. I bent this chisel like so. Get that handle off of there. Now that we have our bend, I'm satisfied with it. I'm gonna reheat this and I'm gonna temper it again. So now I'm gonna heat this part up again red, red hot and I'm gonna dunk it in oil. Now to finish the process, what I'm going to do, I got a little toaster oven that I use for this. I'll put it at, you know, 450 for about an hour, put that in there and that's going to stabilize the molecules. And after that process, it's going to be ready to go. I found myself a piece of poplar there in my leftover wood bucket and I drew myself a little pattern. You can just type in uh, <coughs> router plane in Google and patterns will come up. So that's what I did. Now I'm just going to put a little adhesive in the back and glue it to my board. Now I'm going to cut that out by hand with my coping saw. For this, I'm gonna utilize my little drill press here. I'm gonna drill out from the other side. See, I drilled deep enough so I would have a small little hole on the other side. Now I'm gonna come from this side so I don't tear out the back side. See that? Uh, no tear outs. That's what we want. I just took the the bulk of the material away. Now I can just finish the rest by hand. I was just looking at my dogs on my workbench and that gave me an idea. I'm going to put on both sides a one inch dowel that will stick up vertical, maybe like two inches. So I'll have something to grab onto if I want. There we go. Now I'm gonna cut a couple of pieces of this. Maybe, I don't know, three inches maybe. Now I'll just sand the edges. Well, my blade's been in the oven now for at least an hour, so I know it's turned off. I might put another block on top of here to give my my blade more stability. Mark this here and uh, I'm gonna cut that out and that's gonna go right here to give my blade a little bit of uh, more support so I'm gonna cut this out right now. I 
Okay, I get this little block here. And that's gonna go somewhere like this. Now I'm just gonna shape it, make it look a little presentable. And I'm gonna utilize my little belt sander once again. I'm gonna glue and clamp this and come back in a half an hour and finish up. The critical part is coming up where I need to drill a perfect hole for my chisel. What I'm going to do now is uh, just get rid of that big bulky thing here at the end, you know where the handle was. Now I got to figure out what size hole to use. I need to my knife here is square, okay? So I need to find a hole that will be tight, you know, when I, I put it through. So I'm gonna sharpen this on my uh, diamond hone from where our hole is. There's gonna be an inch that way that the blade's gonna be protruding. So I want it to stick out about an eighth of an inch or so, maybe, I don't know, maybe even a quarter. My holes are probably going to be right in the center. So I want my hole about centered right in the middle of my block according to my measurements. So we need to cut a slot and make sure our, our bit goes up inside. So I'm simply going to take my square and draw draw a line on both sides of my hole and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chisel that out deep enough so it can accommodate my my knife okay so now this is what we should get in the back right here I'm gonna put a set screw. I got this wing thing here, just so I can lock my blade in place. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the hardware and put a little coat of uh, Danish oil just to protect the wood. I'll give it a coat now, let it dry. Tomorrow I'll probably give it a second coat just for, just because. Let's just say I want my dado 3 16th or I have my depth here. What you need to do is just loosen your wing nut here. It's a lot more rewarding when you know that your tenons or dados, like this one, was actually made by hand. And I hope you liked it. I know I enjoyed making this and this thing I'm going to use often. I really needed one and now I got one. On that note guys, we'll see you guys on my next video.